Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we have more of what you need, not what you want. And what you need is another 25 minutes of me bitching about this game. So let's get into it, shall we? Let's just jump right the fuck in there and dive right into it and see what the fuck is going to piss me off today. Because that sounds like a plan, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Just fucking doesn't it? Anyhow, all right, here we are. Oh, we don't have any injuries from the last match. I thought we did. I just realized that someone was injured. Can't remember who, but someone was towards the end of it. But anyhow, it doesn't matter because we're here now. And we're going to go probably probably lose. Because that seems to be what we do pretty well. Or just not defend at all. God damn it. It's really fucking irritating me. It really is. It just... It just pisses me off. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. So much. So anyway, all right. Now that we're kind of um, rolling through here and uh, switching some guys out, Hananin is going to sit because I did not get around to taking him out soon enough in the last match, and he's a bit tuckered out. So what we are going to do is this. Suisi is going to get his very first start. Why? Because I don't really give a shit about Ricenin because he's a dickhead, and he was pissing me off, and he was... The fucking reason why someone scored on us last time. Of course, his average rating is not very good. I don't really don't give a shit right now. It doesn't fucking matter. We need bodies. And we still do not have the Schulberg transfer as yet to go through. Of course, there's only like two or three days in between the last match and this match. So I'm not really all that worried about it. However, I do have our director of football, whose name I don't remember, working on it. Which, by the way, I don't know how in the fuck a good director of football or a bad director of football really, I don't know, affects the game so much. I mean, it's it's interesting to have. However, I don't see any, like, attributes or anything that they could have that are different. Like, I don't know, maybe they're very good negotiators or they're very fiscally responsible. They know how to handle money and they can get you good contracts and good deals. I don't fucking know. Or if some of them, like I said, can really convince players that are out of your league to come play for you. I don't know. These are things that would be nice, though. I kind of like that idea. Because, I mean, if they're going to be handling contract negotiations, those are the things they're going to be talking about. Which, by the way, I don't like how you taking control of that. You kind of get a penalty on it. It's kind of bullshit. It really is. It really is bullshit. It really is bullshit because there's a lot of players that I've had, you know, that, that I've gotten bids in for that they won't even fucking talk to me. They're not even open to contract negotiations whatsoever. And then I have a director of football handle those contract negotiations and I get the contract, the bid accepted, and he goes in and signs them for me. Don't know how or why he can work with them, but I can't, but hey, whatever. You know, although sometimes they do throw out egregious contracts, egregious weekly wages, I'm like, fucking shit. And then sometimes they give, you know, they they, they tend to get you pretty good, pretty good, uh, pretty good deals sometimes. So it's kind of hit or miss. Although I think a lot of it has something to do with the way that they do the whole financial things. Oh Jesus, the way they do the whole financial. Uh, stability thing with the countries and all that shit in this game and yeah economic crap it's there's some formula that they fucking nick around with and like i said i've read some articles on it uh it's a lot of shit to remember that i don't really think will get you super far it's something it's nice to kind of know the gist of and and to understand like yeah and basically, it has a lot to do with, like, inflation and, and you know, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> it has a lot to do with, like, inflation and shit like that and, you know, how rich the country is and also how rich the football and culture there is, how the economics are and all that stuff. It has really nothing to do with how good your team is. That's one thing that kind of irritates me. Or how good the player is, which also irritates me. Because, I mean, it's one of those things where, if, you know, you have a, you know, you work on a footballing culture and you kind of establish something in, you know, it takes a long time to actually make your players worthwhile financially. 
I mean, only now am I starting about 15, 17 seasons into it. Is my Galway United squad actually worth some real money? Like, you know, we're talking like 40 million euros in the fucking transfer market and shit. Oh, get the fuck off of y'all, oh, Jesus. Ugh. There's gonna be a lot of those matches where we can't fucking hit the broad side of the barn. Even though we have like 17 fucking chances. Anyhow, that's of the two. I think this is this team is bottom of the league here, if I remember right. I think they are, like 12th in the division or some shit. So, also one thing this game needs to work on, and I wish they'd make it a little more, just a little more intelligent, because I kind of get tired of like always being talked down to in the press conferences. Because the, um, I'll just fucking shoot. Thank you. Say my boy. First ever this season. Um, I'm sure you scored before us before. Before us before? Nah. Anyhow. Um, fuck, what was I talking about? I don't remember. I really don't. But. I'm sure there'll be plenty to talk about. Oh, I now I remember. The fucking press conferences. Yeah. This is something I need to kind of mention. It gets a little old being talked down to because. My club, Galway United, on my main career is world class. I mean, we're we're good. We can beat anyone. All right, follow me on this. It gets better. And yet, all the fucking time, the reporters ask me, "Oh, this person is rumored to be leaving your club soon." And now we're talking like players that have been there for like eight years, like guys that have established themselves as my player. You know, they, they, I mean, they signed them when they were young. They've been there pretty much their entire football and career. And they talk about that they're going to leave. I mean, as if, as if I don't have the firepower to keep them here. And it's fucking bullshit. It really is. I mean, I can sign anyone from pretty much any team. And they're just like, no, this guy, this guy's a transfer target for someone. Is he gonna leave? You think you can hold on to him? Well, fuck. I've only won the Champions League three times in a row here. I think I can hold on to somebody. I mean, shit. I mean, our reputation's only, you know, like top three in the world on the game. And you're asking me if I can hold on to him when Juventus comes calling. I mean, no offense to Juventus fans, but, you know, they're a bit, they're a bit down, down the list on the way. On my career, and I just suck fucking seriously. I mean, I think I can sign pretty much whoever I want to fucking sign. Thank you very much. It's not that, not that, uh, not that shitty. Jesus, it's just, I don't know, it's, like, it's one of those things that just, it gets old after a while. Being talked down to like that. I don't mind when we're, when we're, have a low rep club like this one. Don't mind it at all. I'm okay with it. I get it. I'm gonna have to fend off all those big clubs, which I do a pretty good job of, by the way. But it's just one of those things where it's like fucking seriously, when you are the big club and they're asking you as if, oh, nasty, we really just get a fucking penalty. Not fucking time something went away. Nice. All right, don't don't fuck this up. That's all I got to say. It's just no, don't, don't fuck this up. Oh, I got scared there for a second. As soon as the, as soon as the keeper got his hands on I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, damn it. But, uh, quite honestly, you know what I think? I think I'm going to need to start drinking when I play this game because the way it's kind of been irritating me lately. It's just one of those things where it's like, you're a lot more light. Like, I lighten up a lot when I drink. That's one thing. and not Shit doesn't bother me as much. Like it does the last two matches, and quite honestly, I'm past, I think, that festivity point. <sighs> but anyhow, all right. Don't get complacent out there. I'm going to fucking say that. God fucking damn it. God, be professional. Shit. Fuck. God. Well, you know, clearly we're going to lose this one. If we had if we had the good, the good reactions last time, and then now this. You know, oh, Jesus. And we can't see him, as, as you've seen, the last three matches, we cannot hold a lead. Well, actually, that 1-1 no one, one draw with whoever the fuck it was, we fucking never had the lead to begin with, but 
And we, we're unable to hold a lead at present. That's something you need to fundamentally do in any sport, really. I mean, that's, you know, like, a lot of people like a lot of scoring and stuff. And that's fine. And don't get me wrong. I mean, you need a, you need a certain amount of scoring. You need a certain amount of, uh, you know, certain edge to your offensive game to be successful in any sport. But, you know, defending is what makes the world go around as far as I'm concerned. I mean, if you can't defend, there's no point. I mean, it's just, there really is no point as far as I'm concerned. I mean, you need to, you need to defend and defend well. Like, you know, like a 2-1 lead, fucking Christ. We're just going to get a bunch of cards, and we're just going to start piling up here. Aren't we? We're just going to fucking start doing it that way. Anyhow, I, I, uh, as I said before, this game does not really get all that fun for me. Until, until we get good players. Until we get players with a ton of potential, that's the thing, I mean. We got some decent players and oh just too much too much on that barely. See those are the things that should be differentiating us lower league clubs to those that you'd find, you know, in the upper leagues of European football. I mean that that's sort of where it's just out of reach, just almost didn't quite pull it off or almost didn't quite just weren't quite able to pull it off. Not just these stupid ass mistakes where a keeper can't get his hands to it or hold it. Right there when he was pretty much under no pressure. That is something too. Goalkeepers seem to be it's weird. Like pressure doesn't seem to affect him at all. It's not really it's not really something that matters in this game. It's just kinda of weird. Yeah, you know, I would expect, you know, putting pressure, especially like corners and stuff like that. Being the way. Ooh, I thought that was gonna be a fucking penalty there. I thought they got one. They probably should have. Yeah, he's fucking livid over there. Look at him. Look at him throwing my hands at shit. Ah, fuck you, Raph. Fuck you. I'm gonna pull a Neymar and headbutt somebody. Which I did find quite, quite entertaining. Oh Jesus. Oh, see, yeah, things like that where the first touch is just not good enough to bring it under control. I mean, these. See, this match, so far, is exactly the way, you know, scoring chances and shit should happen in a lower league. You know, they're not all, you know, products of stupid, dumbass defending mistakes. Jesus, we are just really... Oh, that long ball on today, aren't we? Oh, my God, another penalty kick. We may get a red here. Oh, we got yellow. Hallelujah. A little yucky. <laughs> he got a little yucky there. He got a little lucky there. Let's see if we can convert this and really make a match of it here in a second. Correct. <laughs> Two goals. Away. Thirty minutes left to play. How long will it take for us to piss it away? That's the real question. That's that's the question we should really be asking here because it's not very often that I get penalty kicks either. It's kind of weird. Like they come in bunches. Like I don't get one here, one there, shit like that. Like I've had this happen a few times where it's like I've got like three in a game before. It's like fuck, and then I'll go months, and I mean months. I mean not just months in the game. I mean months in real life without getting a fucking penalty kick. It's ridiculous, and it's. it's there's some times where, like, it doesn't happen for so long that I forget that it's a thing. And, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm Mr., you know, sign me up for football news every day, not just, no, nah, you know, I'll check up on it once in a while like I do with video games. You know what? I think we're going to just, I think we're just going to see it out with the squad that's out there. And we did work, uh, prior to this match, ironically, we worked on an attack and movement to him. Oh, Jesus, what are you doing? What in the fuck? Jesus, what the fuck was that? Psycho Yala was like, hey, watch me completely fuck up everything. 
And all he did was just stop. Just stop moving on. Oh God, they're just playing on the wonderful passes on for him today, too. He must have a couple assists. That, that's got to be the only reason. The only reason he's got a 7.3 rating. Oh my fucking god. He didn't even fucking do anything. He didn't even fucking do anything. He was fucking standing there. Fuck. Good god. Watch this be like one of those catastrophic ones too, where it's like out for six months. He gets fucking elbowed in the face and is fucking dead to the world. Well, Hananen, guess what? This actually won't be the the amount of time left won't be too bad for him in terms of a uh, in terms of his condition. He'll be all right. Seriously, you've got to fucking throw this ball somewhere other than where you're looking right now. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, let's say I thought we were just giving that back to them for some dumbass reason. Being being all fucking gentlemanly and shit. Which I actually think that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. There's very few sports that actually do that shit. You see it once in a while in like basketball where someone will, you know, someone will, I, you know, clearly see that someone's hurt or something like that, and they'll foul someone else intentionally. Although it's usually the team whose player is down that fouls intentionally to stop play, not the other team would have, you know, intentionally do something to stop play so the injured player can get off the floor. But that's one thing I do like about football they generally are kind of like that. Although I don't know why it needs to be an attribute in this game, which it is by the way. Oh man, I gotta say. Thank you for converting. I would say, hey, I think this game is beyond that. But we know what happened last time when I said that. At this exact scoreline too, 4-1. With a little bit more time to play than we had than we have now. I think they scored at the 75th minute or something like that. Something like that. But anyhow. It is what it is. And we are here now. Moving along. Don't that, don't that. Why are both of you doing that? Thank you. Jesus Christ. Don't like it when they stack like that. It frightens me. It frightens me. Oh, Jesus. Ooh, bit too long now. Bit too long. See, this is how the scoring, as I've said before, these are how the scoring chances should come by. I mean, oh my fucking god, seriously. Fuck. Come the fuck on. This is fucking dumb. Get over this fucking bullshit, seriously. Fucking tired of that. There's no reason for that shit. I mean, good God. You know, it's just we've had like fucking three, four guys already injured now. Fucking Christ, we don't need any more. It's just, uh, that is one thing that I think this game needs to be a little. Uh, I think they need to refine the injury. You know the refine the injury in, in, engine. I guess I don't know. I don't know what it's fucking doing or how they compute that. But honestly, but I think they need to kind of refine it because there's a lot of things. Like okay, yes, I understand you can injure yourself kicking the ball. Sure, fine, great. But I'm not gonna score up there. Yeah. All right, at least you got a call. All thanks to a bad touch. But I mean, it's just one of those things where like. You know, it's just, uh, like, I don't know. I mean, there's not as many injuries when a player has to come off the pitch. You know what I mean? Like, at least when I watch football, I mean, you don't see that many, you know. I mean, you just don't see that many, you know, where you have to take a player off. Of course, there we didn't have to take off fucking whatever the hell his name was, Robbie, but... I mean, it's just one of those things that I need to... And also, I have seen this before, where they do have a... It's a hidden statistic. Um, but the injury stat, injury proneness, it's fucking stupid. Like, it, sometimes, like, 10 is the average, okay? 10 is kind of like the baseline stat for anything, really. This baseline, uh, 
you know, number. 10 is medium, middle of the road, doesn't, you know, it's not above or below average in any way, shape, or form. But, um, you know, it. I've seen a player with an injury proneness of 11 get injured literally every fucking match. Every fucking match. And yet a player with, like, injury proneness of 16 never get fucking injured. And the higher number, and I actually did research on this, the higher number is actually supposed to, you know, indicate how often they will get injured. It's dumb. Like, it's fucking stupid sometimes. It's like, why? Like I said, and a lot of it is just, like, really dumb shit where they kick the damn ball. And it's like, fucking really? You kicked the damn ball and you're hurt? I mean, I understand crunching tackles and shit. But... I mean, at least at least there's the opportunity for this to happen. What's his name got taken off? Now a long term injury. Orabi has to come out. And then he's out for two weeks. I mean, all right, that that considering the the situation, I'm okay with. That was fine. But anyhow, all right. So that does it for this episode. Finally, a halfway decent result. A comeback win. Plowing in, plowing in. Well, that sounds wrong. Throwing in, exploding, whatever adjective you want to use to score four goals and completely dominate from then on out. Although they did have a couple decent opportunities and that penalty I think they should have had. But anyhow, that does it for this episode. If you made this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.